All right, B, close the doors. Let's get after it. Let's bring in this guy. He's a great leader. This is players only. Get the coaches out. No coaches in here. Just all players. Jonathan Marsh. So, Con Smythe winning, I should say, of last year. Jonathan Marsh. So, thanks for jumping on with us uh, here right now. What's up, Cheese? Hey, guys. How are you? We're all good. Hey, we're good. Hey, I got to ask you something before we get totally going. Is we were sitting on set with you after the Stanley Cup. Cra uh, you know, craziness going on behind us. You had your kids all over the ice, your family. You just won the con Smythe. We're talking to you, and we asked you about this big knucklehead. Oh, and it was just like, he's the best. He's, I mean, Marshy, you only said that because you just won the cup and you're on top of the world. Let us know, like, how really was he? Give us some dirt on him. I have no dirt on, you, on him. I, I actually love the guy. I thought he was an amazing leader to to be around him when I was in Tampa, and he was. We were always. I was always playing with him too when I was there. So, uh, it was great to play with, and uh, honestly, just good things to say about uh, about be there. That's not bad, huh? Oh man, it's twice. I told you not to do that. Guys. He wasn't. He wasn't blinded by I the know. cup and saying that he, he really genuinely loves you, buddy. No, March, you're the man, dude. Thanks for taking your time. I talked to him a couple of weeks ago. I sent him a I sent him a note, and he was, uh, you know, you were more than kind just to say you you jump on whenever with us. So we really do appreciate that. Uh, how you been, man? I know you got a lot going on. You guys are off to an awesome start, and I want to talk more about kind of you and. Not so much your Vegas Golden Knights, but James and maybe youth hockey, your son James. Is he 2014? Yeah, 2014. Uh, definitely when the season starts, uh, I step off a little bit. But when I uh, when we come back uh, for school year in uh, mid-August, a uh, couple of tournaments, uh, I run all the practices, run the run the run the bench. Uh, I I honestly I I love it. I'm probably more passionate towards uh, youth hockey than my personal hockey. So uh, it's, it's unbelievable to, to be there and to share the same passion of my, uh, my kids there and my two younger boys too are just starting their four and five. So they're, they're, they're definitely into it, but uh, yeah, James is, is nine and yeah, I love every second of it when I can be out there with them. B said that uh, James got pretty good height to him. You good, good size or what? Well, it doesn't come from me. That comes from the mom. <laughs> uh, she's a tall, uh, she's a tall woman. So uh, I'm definitely lucky for that. <laughs> it's funny. I saw him during the Cup Finals last year. I had to fly out to Chicago for a tournament for my 2015, my oldest. And I saw Alex there with James in the crowd. And I asked your wife point blank. I said, which which game would stress you out more, this or when we go back to Vegas and watch him play in the Stanley Cup Finals? And without hesitation. She said, for sure, <laughs> James is games. She gets yeah. so into oh, it. I, I loved it. It was agree. awesome. And he's got a little bite yeah. to him, too. He doesn't take any crap from anybody. Well, he mean, pushes back. He's got a little marshy yeah, in well, him as well. Well, there's no uh, to make it to make it far. There's no sub stuff anymore. You got to I don't like the new generation. You got to build the kids. Uh, yes. Kind of tough and hard right. a little yes. bit more. And uh, uh, we 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 still need that in. Uh, in our days, I think. Oh, uh, B was just telling me that he uh, telling us he he benched Declan uh, last game. Yeah, yeah. So we had uh, and Declan, if you're watching, sorry, buddy, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about it. <laughs> uh, there was a couple times where he looked at me when I'm calling him off the ice, and I lost my voice in this tournament last weekend. And he'd go and try and finish a rush. He'd be late to the play, and then he would change on the back check. And our and our other head coach's son was doing the same thing. So I pinned them both. And then the head coach said, all right, we missed one shift. And he let him play again. And I wanted to keep him pinned for a while just to let him think about it. <laughs> he said, one shift, we got to give him a warning. And it worked out because it's the I, coach's kids. But you get me I that? I completely agree. You got you to gotta go harder with your kids because you, you set the standard with all the other ones. So I think you, you do it as an example. And last tournament, too, as well, I was, I was into it. The, the other team had like, I don't know, like 12 minors. It was crazy. Like they kept hitting our kids. Like they thought they were contact or something. And and no one was saying anything. And at the end, I start, I dropped like an F-bomb to the ref and I got a bench minor for it. But like, it was just like, I was just, I, I had enough of that. I had enough of uh, what was going on. And I, I deserved it though, but it was it, worth it. Why don't you just go French with it though? Like just start letting it fly in French a little bit. You probably not understand it. You want to get the point across. I, I should. No one would understand. 
<laughs> well, hey, you know what? That, one last thing on, that, on the youth hockey, too, because, you know, with you being busy with the season, obviously, but, you know, I'm sure you get on the ice and, and do some coaching, like father-son uh, coaching. You, you, you were on the bench. I was on the bench with my, my son as assistant coach. And the one thing I've always learned from talking to other players and former players, when they, when they get in that kind of arena of coaching your kid, you can tell your kid, like, I could tell Mason, this is this is what you need to do in this situation, blah, 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 blah. Just whoop, run one <laughs> ear out the other. The other the, the, the other coach who never played hockey, so <laughs> never played ice hockey before, I get in the car on the way home, he's like, hey, uh, coach told me that uh, I should be doing this. I'm like, what the? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, isn't it funny, though, the way the kids look at you? Because you're dad to them. Like, you're not the NHL player. You're not the one that's, you know, in this small kind of community of, of, of the you know, best players in the world, your dad. And they're going to listen to the other guy too, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to coach your own kids. Like, even my my last ones, like, uh, my last boys, they, they're starting to skate and they're, they're doing well, but it's hard to teach them, like, how to skate or how to do certain things because they don't see it like that. So I always have, I always try to get, like, do a good job to find good coaches around like for personal skates or for their own teams and stuff, because it's, that's the main thing growing up. It's all about like how good of coaches you had growing up. And to be honest, it's, 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 it's sad, but like when you think about it, 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 it didn't happen every year that you had a great coach. So when you have one, you definitely appreciate it. And hopefully one day my kids realize that what dad says, it's, it's pretty spot on sometimes so and they can use it to their favor but i mean yeah it's it's i'm doing them my best for them to understand it oh that's good the uh, perfect yeah that's good that is good i i want to ask you uh you had the craziness of uh halloween with the kids um this time of year kind of getting it going and you guys are looking for you know times to connect as teams halloween parties to road trips and all these different things i mean uh where are you guys at right now because you know i've talked to some people there in vegas and they're like this team actually hasn't really played their best they're just finding ways to win and the the mood you know i mean everybody talks about the stanley cup hangover like i mean you guys are just finding ways to win hockey oh. games right now i i think we are just finding ways to win hockey games right now i don't think we're playing that good you look at our the guys' numbers or especially me it's like disappointing right so it's it's one of those things that not everybody's bringing their best i think one of the main reason why we're winning hockey games right now is our two goalies are, are doing really good they're giving us a chance to win every night they're making big save and most of the nights they're our best players on the ice so uh uh i wouldn't say the past even the past three or four games have been pretty sloppy for us but hey good teams find a way to win and you know like points are are, are hard to get uh they, they get a little harder after christmas as well so you, you cannot uh we uh we cannot sit back on on our lead but i mean uh we gotta somewhat somehow get to our game and how we can play and dominate teams like we did a little bit more last year. Uh, let's get that uh, clip ready of the, the mishap from the other night. And I'll just say to you, like, when we're talking, maybe let some of these viewers in in the locker room because you see guys when they make mistakes or when things happen. And I'm, of course, referring to Aiden Hill's uh, mishap with the puck the other night. But then he ends up making the saves you need in the shootout to win. So credit to him for rebounding. Do you guys say anything to him? Like, I, I love when, you know, you watch this as a fan and you're like, oh, my gosh. But the guys in the room, did you guys get in there and like be we hear this all the time you just make fun of the guy in the room just to lighten it up and let him know it's all good yeah i mean it's it's one of those things you know like we want to uplift each other right we want to always help each other and obviously it's one of the he, he definitely would like to have that one back i think one of the past games logan had a back end shot from the corner that no one was in front and it kind of clipped his inside of his blocker it went in and those are stuff that we're definitely laugh about it after. Uh, but during, it's like, oh, we got to help him out and, you know, like, get this guy a win because, like, it's 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 a tough job to be a goalie in the NHL. Like, you're, you're like, you're always the last resource for the team to, to, to save everybody's mistakes. So uh, when they do one, I think it's on us to, to be a little better and go get a, go get a win for them. And I think we've, we've done that this year. We uplift everybody on the team and, uh, and th those two guys in those partic particular moments and 
uh, yeah, I just uh, it fe- if, if it definitely feels good to to be able to do that for uh, for your teammate. Robert, real quick, you would if Hank did that, were you going to go and give it? No. To him? So that's that. I guess yeah. the point is it depends who the goalie is too. About that, yeah. you think you know, like because you want to keep it light, right? Like everything's cool. So you get in between period, be like you know, if that's you doing that or something, like oh man, sweet you, play. I never hear the end of it. You know, like you give him our time, but pass, like, man. Hanky, no, I would not say anything to Lundqvist. I mean, that was the one thing when I got to New York. There, I remember the first day there. Um, the train, uh, the trainer there, uh, Jim Ramsey, at the time, where he was like, he was like, don't even look at him. He's not <laughs> like he on game days. Pretend he's not even alive. Yeah. Like that's how he wants to be treated. It was very, very unique. But anyways, uh, hey, we've got a, a, a fun part that we do here with our uh, I guess in uh, um, players only. It's called What Were You Thinking? We're just going to show you some pictures of yourself, and we want to know what you're thinking in these spots. Oh, I. Do you this remember this one? Probably, I think it's. It's my first NHL goal. Yeah, yeah I was. Uh, I was pretty happy. It was a pretty nice goal too. So I was definitely happy about it. And uh, yeah, that's that's that seems uh, like a long time ago for sure. Look at that he's like oh yeah. oh yeah. I remember that far <laughs> easy. Yeah, on, on a pretty good goalie too. I think. Pretty good Hall of Famer probably. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, we were talking about that, too. Like, we've had a few guys on here talking first NHL goals, and we've had a good rip of, like, good first NHL goalies. Or first goal against the goalie. That's Marty. another one there, yeah. Marty was me. Marty, I was on. I was, we said this before. Yeah. We can talk always, about it every hey, episode. We bring this up all the time. I don't know why, we always, I don't <laughs> know why I'm bringing it up, because I was the one at the other end of it. I was on the ice for his, I got a minus on his first NHL goal. And I'm like, I'm going to kill this guy. Yeah. And then we end up playing together, just like you said. I love him to death. So, anyways, uh, B, thanks for the minus. Uh, we got the next one here. What do we got? Whoa. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, well, you know, I, that's one of the best shows in Vegas. Like, everybody, come when they come to Vegas, they ask, oh, which one should we go, we go see? And I think Absinthe is one of the best ones, for sure. And... I just ended up there and uh, they were like, can we have a picture with you? I'm like, sure, but they definitely, uh, they're uh, they're definitely wearing their characters really well there. It's not quite Connor McDavid at the airport with that couple. <laughs> but it's you, awkward. You don't yeah. look totally comfortable there, Mark. That's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, but you don't look that comfortable either. Are you trying to like, where am I supposed to look? Well, or are you yeah, like, I, can I, you I, let go of me or what is it? Yeah, they look a little different for sure, but I think they're just playing their character. If you see the show, you see like that the guy actually is his face the whole time is like that pretty much. So uh, I get I, I guess he's just doing what he's supposed uh, to do. So good. What else well, so we got here? Show. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got? Yeah. Oh, who is this? Who is this headless person? Uh, I was just I, I was just teaching a lesson there to some uh, little guy. <laughs> Uh, hey, who's taller? Uh, I don't know. It's a good battle. I'm, I'm just joking. I was probably was it me against Garland? Yeah. What do you mean? Was yeah, it you I against just, Garland? Yeah, it's your know. one I'm fighting probably, major. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah, like, I which don't one often, was it? <laughs> oh, is this I don't fight it? often, but oh, I know yeah, that. I oh, oh, he got me that. there, so I was pretty mad. It was like a five-one game. I was like, let's go. And after he's like, he squared up there, and I'm like, oh shit, dude, does he know what he's doing there? And uh, <laughs> like, finally, nothing really much happened. But I mean, uh, yeah, he's a good player, and he plays hard, and uh, me too. And we just uh, somehow uh, uh, cross paths and uh, decide to go there. It's an emotional game. Yeah, it's an emotional it game. You had quite the quite the fierce look on your face there too. Clutching the mouth guard. All hair team fight though. That's yeah. a lot of salad. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. A lot of salad. Going oh, on. hair fights are the best. Like especially back in the day when you'd see the fights, you just hair going. You don't even have to do good. You don't even have to do face. good in the fight when your hair is just in your face like this. Like it's like this guy's nuts, right? I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't know what he, he knew what he was doing. I, I thought maybe he knew what he was doing. So. Uh, I was like, come here, and uh, <laughs> finally, finally, he was like me. He didn't know what he was doing, so. <laughs> uh, I think you got him. I'll talk to G. I know Connor a little bit. Well, we got next video. All right. Oh, oh that's the uh, Stanley Cup uh, Finals right there. That's the the good old days. Maybe I need to find some new highlights this year. This year for you guys, uh, you you always replay what happened in the playoffs last year, so. 
Maybe. Hey, that's spoken yeah, like that. That's spoken like year. a true. That's spoken like a true Stanley Cup champ. You want to park that last year? I'm sorry that we're making a big deal about you winning the con smite in the Never Stanley heard Cup finals, man. <laughs> Never heard of it. Hey, uh, here's the deal. Next game, because the guys who've come on here, we have been giving them bumps. Have you seen all the guys? Like when we've had them on, they've gone on literally the next game. And who was it? Uh, the producer could tell me. We had someone. Uh, yeah, Matt Barzell predicted he was going to score the next game. He scored. So you're going to get a bump. We'll use that clip and we'll park these ones. Okay. So, come on once a week. After yeah. That. After that. <laughs> I'm due to get hot too, so that's good. Oh yeah, look uh, at that. Here we go, uh, last one. Yeah, that's the. Uh, that was the day of the parade, I think, too. It was like such a. It was an unreal day. Like it was so much fun. Like all the families, kids, having all the trophies and family there. There were. It was just unbelievable. Uh, but the kids definitely saw a different dad there. It was the parade, right? So I was. What do you mean? Pretty hammered by the end of it. And, <laughs> I was I was chugging beers and throwing beers everywhere. So it was it was a different day. They they saw a different man, but I was uh, I, I guess they grew up a little uh, quicker. Oh, oh you mean like this? The parade again. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Like I didn't when I uplift the the cup. Like I didn't kiss it on the ice. So I when I I don't know when I get I got there. I wanted to uplift it and uh, kiss it. So uh, yeah, that was the. That was that was good good days there for sure. Oh, that's awesome, man. Where's that where's that one with your family frame? Is that one in your house somewhere hanging? Which one? The one with your family and the trophies. Well, I mean, is the shirtless one framing? Didn't you frame yeah, in your house? Well, too? My wife did all of them. Uh, yeah, my wife did uh, all of those pictures, and we're gonna put them in our house back home. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's just the best there. Awesome, that's what you man. work. You, that's what you work for, you know? Yeah, buddy. That's uh, awesome. Well, congrats on that, obviously, again. Great dude. Yeah. I'm happy for all your success, buddy. That, that's yeah. just, that's awesome to see. Love watching you, and uh, Thank can't you. wait to see you and just explode here with some goals. Yeah, pop off, will you? Come on. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'm due. You guys are right. I'm due. I'll warm up. <laughs> all right, buddy. Thanks, Thanks Marcy. Guys.